Hey guys, this is Dinsen from ChromeStory.com. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Assistant on Chromebooks. Google launched the Assistant on Chrome OS with the first generation Pixelbook, and it kind of looked like an extension that was added to Chrome OS. But with Chrome OS version 71, Google has more native version of Assistant. If you're on a Pixelbook, this should already be working for you. If not, check out Chrome Flags for a new flag called Enable Google Assistant. If that's available, enable that flag, restart your Chromebook and this should work for you as well. So once you have that enabled, there are a couple of ways on which you can launch the assistant. So if your Chromebook, like the Pixelbook, has a dedicated assistant key, use that to launch the Google Assistant. There used to be a keyboard shortcut, uh, the search key plus A, that used to work, but uh, for some reason it's not working for me anymore. So let me know in, in comments if it is working for you on other Chromebooks. It's probably because I have an assistant key on my pixel book and that's how you launch the assistant but if you have the screen on you can always say ok Google and launch the assistant you should be familiar with all the Google assistant commands that you can use to get answers uses commands to control your devices uh, but I want to tell you about a couple of things that you can do on the Chromebook so you can say things like increase volume to 90 percent right you can also change brightness increase brightness to 100 percent setting brightness turn off bluetooth turning bluetooth off and it turns off bluetooth so you can do a few device specific things on chrome OS, just like you can do on an android phone So that being said, now let's go and check out all the Google Assistant settings on Chrome OS. So these are things that you get specifically on Chrome OS. Uh, there is always the Google Assistant only settings that's part of the Assistant app itself. I'll show you that in a moment. But for now, you go to settings, search an Assistant and then click on Google Assistant. So this is where you enable or disable Google Assistant, right? The first slider button. Now the second one gives you the option to, you know, if you want to allow Google Assistant to see what is on your screen and give you suggestions. If this is enabled, when you launch the Assistant, you'll always see what's on my screen option. So for example, let's take some pictures of chromecast let that be on the screen and now launch assistant what's on my screen okay for some reason it didn't pick up chromecast but yeah it, it's showing it, it's able to see other logos on the side so this is very similar to what you have on your Android phone but you have a slider here that you can use to turn that off or on so if you launch assistant again you'll see that what's on my screen is no longer there and the second option ok Google lets you keep the always listening mode 
um, so that like when the screen is on you can say the keyword and then launch the assistant and the next option is to control notifications on your Chromebook so if this is enabled assistant will show notifications on your notification tray and with the new version of assistant on Chromebooks notifications look and work similar to other native notifications of Chrome OS and with that we come to the last option on that page which is preferred input this is a very interesting setting so now that it's disabled the default when I press the assistant button on my keyboard is typing so tap the assistant icon and then start typing your question or command now if I enable it it basically makes voice my preferred input so if I tap assistant key now it's actually listening to me right so if that's not enabled and if I want to use voice to launch assistant I'll have to launch the assistant using the keyboard and then tap the mic microphone icon to start speaking but my personal preference especially on the Chromebook is actually to start typing because it's somehow it, it's so much fun to use assistant that way for me at least especially on the laptop all right but if you prefer to use voice commands on your Chromebook you can keep this enabled and just tap the icon start speaking and now the last option of course takes you to the Google assistant settings where you control assistant specific preferences like language services that you use and also whether your places uh, and things like that so what happens is like anything that you change here is going to kind of sync between all your assistant devices so that's since that's similar to what you have on your phone I'm not going to go into all the details here so that's how you use assistant on your Chromebook and if you have any questions please drop me a comment and also drop your feedback and subscribe to the channel for more Chrome OS specific how-to articles thank you bye bye